wanted a pepper. Oz's world with complicated women. What more you got? If something Stop. happened to me. Stop talking. A lot of stories in the crime world, women are kind of cast aside pretty easily. They're arm candy. You see such a tough guy story. And to understand what is this trajectory that leads to the kingpin, the key to that whole thing is the history and relationship between Oz and his mother, Frances. Is that what you are, Oswald? Weak little pussy boy? Mm. One of the things that really excited us was this idea of digging into the familial relationship of him and his mother. If my son is a nothing, what am I? I wanted to write an interesting, complicated, tough as nails, broad. I won't let you down. All sons need and desperately call for their mother's love and attention. But I think it's something that burns a little bit more deeply in Oz. Get off! He's constantly looking for his mother's approval and her love. It's kind of a painful relationship. It's a little more intimate than people might think is perfectly healthy. It's a very lonely world. She doesn't have family. There's nothing outside of the two of them. You promised me, Oswald, I deserve a better life. I'm working on it. His ambition is really sprung from his mother saying, I deserve and want more, and so do you. His self-worth is all wrapped up in his desire to have his mother express her love and affection and her, how proud she is of him. Oswald, it's too much. <laughs> His trajectory and his desire to have power is so he could go home and tell his mom, look, Ma, I did it. Aren't you proud of me? That's all he wants. The relationship with his mother is one of those things that allows this character to really come into full bloom because it, it so humanizes him and her. His greatest fear, in my opinion, was that love is transactional, that there's always a cost to something, that somebody always wants something from you to give you that love and affection. I appreciate the gesture, but this is, this is too much. He has a girlfriend, Eve, but he pays her, so that will ensure that she loves him because he takes care of her. Baby, everything okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you meet someone in childhood, there's this sort of unspoken trust that doesn't really have to be fully explained. They have that. It gets tested. Eve. Sweetheart, no one's untouchable. Then neither are you. With Oz, she really does try to have I've got your back, you've got mine relationship, but she's willing to drop that if it serves her. As much as she wants to be a cheerleader to Oz at all times, it comes back to survival. You're putting me and my girls at risk. It's not part of the deal. They've known each other a long time. They're both survivors. In a world of hardship, they both learned how to play a certain social system in their favor. He would like to believe she's there for him for purer reasons than maybe she is. In my mind, she's his first sexual experience, so he trusts her. She's older than him. So there's always a little bit of hints towards being mothered, wanting an older woman to take care of him. Where are you going? Paddle my nose. Oz never feels good enough. All of that really stems from this lack within him from the beginning of always feeling like an outsider, always feeling unlovable. It's a hole that he is voraciously digging into that can never be filled. It's also the thing that takes him to the depths of doing the worst things he could possibly do. 